Yeah. Yeah, they back in jail. They back in jail. Only for 24 hours. Just but to... what's really important is what's... they're being charged Are they? with new additional stuff. And you know what? We told you guys this was going to happen. No, no. Yes. You said it. With these kinds of investigations, I think people expect charges to be instantaneous, but that's just not the way police investigations work, mm -hmm. especially not ones on this governmental scale. Mm -hmm. Even look at the FBI. The FBI builds a case for four or five years before they charge someone. True. And when they charge you, best believe they bring the whole f roof down. That's why generally governmental charges from like big organizations like the FBI or things like that always stick is because they've done a lot of investigating. They've pulled on every thread. And what ends up happening generally with a lot of like criminal organizations, which is what they're alleging criminal... Andrew Tate is part of, is that when they pull on one thread, all of a sudden they start finding different threads and they find like, oh, organized crime, money laundering, tax evasion, tri tri whatever it might be. And so that's why, irrespective of how you feel about the investigation, when these things take a long time for charges to be laid, it's not because they don't have a case. That's why they always say here in the state specifically, is like they bring a RICO charge against you, it's already over because they already got everything they need. They you, you, know, you know what's crazy to me about like all these different things, bro? I would just imagine like... The more famous you get, the more access to women you have, allegedly speaking, if that's actually how the f*** happens. I feel like in my head, obviously it, it shouldn't be a thing, period. But I feel like at that point, man, you got you got the ocean to you. You know, like you got, you got so many options. So many options of bad bitches. Why, why go to the one that'll get you in trouble? You know, I don't, I don't know, man. They got snitches. They got wiretaps. They got bank transfers. They got phone records, right? They generally do the things the same way. When they run into Rico on you boys, okay? When they're trying to take out a criminal organization, the process is slow. It is slow right. and long. Pause. But they gonna get your ass. When they run a Rico on your ass. You said that like they was running a train. Huh? The, it feels like it. It feels like it. Because they're running over 20, 30 people. So if you're unaware, Andrew Tate, all right, everyone's favorite sex offender, uh, is facing a tremendous amount of jail time. That's what he is, man. You have to remember, I'm not saying he's guilty because they found him guilty. I'm saying he's guilty because he, he self-snitched. He said it. I think the one that really matters to people is the fact that they're being alleged to have trafficked underage Is there a video? People. Don't ask me. Just watch them talk. Two girls have claimed Whoa. Andrew Tate approached them on social media when they still attended school. PhD is a pimp and hose degree. So the recruitment process is you message them on Instagram, I was contacted by Andrew Tate, the older of the Tate brothers, three years ago when I was just 16. Whoa. Daria was 16 when she says she received a private message on Instagram two years ago what from Andrew hell? Tate's account. It read simply, Romanian girl, followed by a strawberry emoji. What do you inbox the woman? I live in Bucharest, Romania. It doesn't matter if I'm in London, Bucharest, Moscow, anywhere I am. I just say, Bucharest, question mark or a Moscow question mark, or London question mark. Sometimes, because like I said, intrigue, I'll put a completely pointless emoji on the end. Some cherries, or an orange, or a strawberry. I asked around to my Yo! other friends and my classmates, who were also 15, 16 at the time, and a couple of them also told me they received messages. So I messaged her, she's like, I'm only From 16. the same school? Like, Give a fuck, not about me. It was a pretty well-known fact that he had kind of a network of young girls. I mean, it's like, what the fuck would I read for you? You've got a fit sister who's 16, maybe. Muslims have the best frame on earth. I want a virgin wife at 16 who's going to obey me. That's yeah. what I want. You know you said it looks like I'm in a teenage girl's bedroom. What the fuck? Yeah. To, to some people that would be an insult, but to me, I find that quite flattering, to be honest. You know, like, that's exactly what you expect. Like. I'm fucking all these... 15 year old. You know who one of the guys was? That was Candace Owens' husband. You know how Candace Owens always defended this guy? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, nah. Oh, no. We're unpeeling the onion, chat. We're unpeeling the layers of the onion. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's because her husband's really good friends with this dude. Oh. So she's talking about he's such a good man. Yo, if they weren't buddy buddy or part of the same fucking scam. These people would never associate with a dude like this who's a self-proclaimed pip, loves to bang 15, 14-year-old, 16. They don't care. Bro, 
that's when I see a conservative and they defend Andrew Tate, I know they have no principles or values. Because literally his whole life has been the antithesis of any kind of conservative traditional mm -hmm. value. Dudes out here pimping girls, defrauding men. Basically, he himself admits too. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. You guy, feel bad or no? Fuck no. To give a solitary fuck. I don't care. I used to take lonely men and take hundreds of thousands from them through my webcam yeah. business. And like, I enjoyed it because like, give me your money, your piece. Like, what kind of moral person does that? But I've got my main, my bottom, Vivian. So Vivian here, that's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long term relationship thing. I was living in England. I moved her to England to be with me to start doing my webcam company. So Vivian's been with me six years. So he's been with Vivian for six years, right? Is Vivian's younger? Vivian's like 21. Vivian's 21. And at this point, he's had her, he's been a girlfriend for six years. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. The only justification for this is if and it's, it's really a stretch at this point because he is a repeated offender of this behavior. Age of consent in wherever he's at gotta be 15. It gotta be, bro. I... And if it's not, this motherfucker is devious, man. No cap. In a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. From 10 years ago, 10 years ago. Hey, I didn't say the word listen. Did I say listen? Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released. I, I still think at the end of the day, though, this shit is nasty because we're, we're still talking about ultimately a grown ass man. A grown ass man taking advantage of teenage girls who don't have, first of all, their brains aren't fully developed. And second of all, um, they definitely have the, the power dynamics well in their favor because most of these people are probably just in school. Um, this motherfucker's nasty, yo. Recently about me and my ex-boyfriend, Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend. What you guys saw on the video is just what we used to do. It was just pure game. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. Listen, look at the camera. Why are you getting hit? You do the math. I don't want to. You do the math. I don't wanna. She was basically 14, 15 when they got into a relationship. That means yeah. when did he start talking to her? When she was 14. Or earlier. Or earlier. Depending on how long that shit took. Think about that. Think about this. Coconuts and Barbados. You know, so far, the... We I, I feel like... And this is the crazy thing about Red Pill and being on that side of the internet chat. I'm gonna be honest, chat. The motherfuckers get canceled so much, and they have built their brand to be so toxic, so anti-cancel culture, that I'm telling you right now, to them, they see this video, and this is just, uh, another Andrew Ted exposed video that probably, uh, is out of context, and they're fucking, uh, clout chasing off of Andrew Tate. Like, it's, it's actually crazy. It's, it's actually crazy, bro. You haven't said what we thought. We didn't say what we thought. We didn't say nothing about that. I didn't say it. He didn't say it. We just gave you facts. Not facts are coming out from us, but facts are coming from them. Just based on the facts. If you still defend him, <coughs> just a I mean, these guys will defend him. If, Sorry, go ahead. If Take you him. still defend him, you're a whole ass creep. You're as bad as him to me. If, after seeing this, you're like, well, well, there's something really wrong with you. What are you saying? These guys all, the, the, the type of people who defend him are anti-establishment. You know, they, they, they want to stop the They have a problem with Epstein and all this stuff. I'm like, what did Epstein do? Did he just, did he, did he just censor out the word Jew? The fuck? Well, I mean, he had a whole organization about trafficking and getting young girls, getting young girls and putting and them on having, islands. Yeah. And, and isn't that exactly what Tate's doing? Mm. So because Tate repeats what they like, they defend him, but they whine about Epstein and people like Epstein all the time. Tate is no different.
Tay's no different. He's just changed his grift. He realized he was going to go under, so he changed his plan. He realized there's more money with Hustlers University getting off, like tens of millions from fucking weirdos who think they're going to learn something and somehow better than college, right? So he just changed his grift. He changed his lingo. There's now he's all about male self-improvement and all this other stuff. Back in the day, he was loving the fact that he was taking men's, lonely men's money. He didn't give a shit. They want to protect kids. They want to protect kids, but they didn't mind going after little teenagers and converting them for their sex operation. Okay? L listen to this. It's like taking the virginity of a really beautiful woman. I get to have this experience and no one else gets to have it again. It is a little bit better, but the real pleasure is in the fact that somebody else would love to have this and I get it. That's why this is good. That makes sense. I'll give you that. I agree with that. When you are in the true abundance mindset of you can have the pick of the crop, you can have the world's most attractive women. I mean, one of my main chicks has 200,000 Instagram followers and I took her virginity when she was 17. It's an abundance mindset. Yeah. I have so many girlfriends the and so fuck? many wonderful girlfriends and so many virgins. She is a Polish. She was a Polish virgin. Man, it, it hurt her at every moment that I was <laughs> doing it. But it felt good for me, so who gives a shit? <laughs> so what? They got money laundering on him now, which we told you guys they were going to do. Why? Because this dude admitted to money laundering. Not because I think so. It's in his own shit. Look. What he the gave, fuck? He gave a, a class on how to do it. And he, and the prime example of how he was doing it was him. Same thing with the other stuff. So, so we did this video a while back. Now, I want you guys to see this, okay? Not my opinion about him doing the money laundering. This is him. So Andrew Tate says, you're not stupid. And, you, and he's talking to one of the victims. You're not stupid. And you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. And the victim says, the webcam? And he says, I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Some of the girls who worked for me, I use them to do other things. To move money or illegal things, documents, and I will never do that with you. Basically telling the girl. So what do you think happens when they grab his cell phone, they look through all the records, they see these texts, what do you start thinking they start doing? They start pulling financial records. They start demanding that banks send them stuff because they think this is part of a criminal investigation. The reason why he got charged for the other stuff and not this until now is because the process for actually finding every detail that they need to confirm the money laundering because it's part of a larger criminal network. You think Andrew Tate and his five subordinates are the other ones getting charged? No, there's other people on the other end of this who are getting charged. Yeah, do I believe that these guys go for underage women? Absolutely. Like I said, dudes who obsess with going after virgins, dudes who obsess with 16, 15, close aligned, you think they actually care if their girl's a year or two below it? You think no. they care if it's illegal? They already say they don't care about the law. They don't care about... Ro I don't feel bad for these guys being in jail. They chose Romania. They think it's a fucking joke. This is them talking about what they think about the law. And Get me out of jail. The law says you're guilty. I said, get me out of jail. I don't go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I've committed multiple felonies. How much does it problem. cost to make this all go away? God, like I said, I don't feel bad for these guys. What are we talking about? These guys are scumbags. Okay. By their own, not based off what I think, what they say. They scumbags. And anyone who sit here, any grown man who wants to sit here and advocate for dudes who love taking the virginities of 14, 15 year olds while they're in their mid 30s, any dude who wants to advocate that, I hope I lose you as a fan too. Y'all some weirdos, okay? And all these dudes clamoring for this stuff, just say you don't give a shit about women. They say, that's fine, just say that. I'm, nah, bro. Like, imagine being so anti cancel culture now. And, and, and this is my problem with, like, the whole anti-cancel culture movement, bro. There's a difference between, oh, motherfuckers are just sensitive now to you using that lane as an excuse to get your fuck shit off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always said this, man. When you needed a platform like Kick to exist because you wanted to uh, essentially commit crimes... And do revenge porn content. Like, that is not anti-cancel culture. That is just you using 
this platform is an excuse to get your nasty shit off. You know what I'm saying? And I do think Andrew Tate was smart for definitely for worse um, in building a brand where he could still make millions of dollars from motherfuckers who do not care about cancel culture and things like this happening to him. Right? Because if he built, <laughs> I hate to always bring him into this, but if Andrew Tate built a, a platform like Matt Pat or Marquez Brownlee and this shit came out, yeah, his career would have been over. But again, because he's built a platform of a bunch of motherfuckers who don't like cancel culture, who are so anti-establishment, uh, so fuck the law, we're badasses. When they see this video, which is a well-constructed video as well, laid out a bunch of evidence for them, a bunch of clips for them to see, they are just going to look at this piece of content and say, uh, they're cloud chasing off of my man. And yes, I said off of my man... Um, purposely, because they are shaboingers, they are dick riders, they are meat munchers, they are dong schlobbers, you see what I'm saying? And then Andrew Tate can sell them a course, he's definitely scaled his, his business to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, and um, when you're selling high ticketed items... Um, and you have the combination of high-ticketed items with a cult-like following, and that cult-like following is huge. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it is pretty easy to rack up millions of dollars and make money, uh, not necessarily doing illegal shit, but to make enough money for you to do the fuck shit that you do, and for you to just bail yourself out night in and night out, you know what I'm saying, so. Okay, say that. Just, just move on. So we just know you hate ladies. Just say that. But I'm not interested in having a conversation with people who want to just do this whole running defense for sex traffickers, for dudes who obsess over having underage women. These guys are sex offenders, and that's what they are. So that's what I think about this. What you think about this? Coconuts and Barbados. Hey, listen, I'm the guy behind the scenes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, w video, though, from Album Preach. W video. W video. <laughs>